everyone. Thanks for checking out the blog again today. We're talking about grief, which is a subject that I've heard from a lot of you is something that we all deal with and we need to be talking about. And so I'm so happy that my friend Alicia is here today to talk about her experience with losing her mom when she was still in high school. No, you had just graduated. So just graduated high school. So let's just get right to it. <laughs> um, I know your mom, she was diagnosed with cancer, mm -hmm. and but it seems kind of sudden, even though it was an illness. What was it like when you first found out that she was diagnosed, and then how, what was the time span before she actually passed away? She was first diagnosed, actually, about 10 years ago with breast cancer, and then she got a 10-year safe period, and it came back in her bones as bone cancer. And so when she sat us all down and told us, um, I kind of had a feeling already that she, it was going to be something like that. But she had also told me at the same time that God had given her a scripture verse. And it's talking about um, her joy will come in the morning and sorrow only lasts for a little bit. And basically, we had thought that it was a scripture verse uh, telling about her healing and that it's going to be painful and you're going to go through this, but I'm with you and you'll be able to get through it. When she suddenly did pass, because it was really a short time, what was your first reaction? I was really angry at first, and it didn't make any sense. I really had this overwhelming peace and joy that my mom was in heaven, that she wasn't suffering. Wow. And even though that sucked, I was like, she's, she can walk around again, she can talk again. Yeah, she's not relying on somebody else to take care of her. Mm -hmm. And you know, and then I thought, you know, I'll be with her again someday. So many young people I've found, and even in my own personal experience, don't really want to face what they're going through mm -hmm. and like get help or talk it through or even say I'm not okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you feel like you were able to face kind of your emotions and talk it out, or what was your journey like? It probably took me. I think it was about a year before I even started talking about it. Um, it wasn't like I'd break down and start crying if I talked about it, or it was uncomfortable to talk about it. I just never talked about how I felt mm -hmm. with anybody, just because I'm not a real emotional expressor of how I feel. I mean, every day is different. Like, some days will be easier than others. Other days, I'll think about it all the time. Um, but it's just... Goes, it's just day to day, just trying to figure out how I live my life now without my mom, yeah. who I am without my mom, yeah. um, what my purpose is now without my mom, and just starting a new chapter, I guess. Yes. And how long has it been so far? It's been three years. Three years. Yeah. So, you know, they say <laughs> that it takes about five years, three to five years to get over a tragedy, and... I say you don't ever really get over it, but I do think it gets maybe worse before it gets better, and then it does finally get better, where you can remember the good things without, you know, those gut-wrenching yeah. moments. Um, so, as far as for people that are out there, like, just feeling, like, miserable, <laughs> that are in the heat of it, what would you say to them about keep walking and keep getting through it, and... What really helped me is I had not a bunch of friends, but I had a couple really close friends that I could just be with. I wouldn't have to talk about anything. I wouldn't have to do anything. We would just kind of hung out or if we watched a movie. Um, and just knowing that eventually that it will get better. Yeah. Because it does. Yeah. And it it you're does. right. I love that you said just a new chapter because it is always different it's never going to be the same that's the part that that's just the reality of it yeah but that doesn't mean it's going to be bad it's a new different and and your mom or whoever you've lost is a part of your life forever like in you who she was I think even more so than maybe if she was here because yeah. you know when mom or dad or sister or brother are here you're like get away from me <laughs> you know but just to have that conscious conscious awareness 
of who they were, the good things about them, kind of we get to take that with us and try to aspire to be like that. So thank you so much for sharing your story. Yes, thank you for having me. Yes, and we um, would love an update later on when time, more time has passed okay. and all that. So, okay, cool. So we're talking about grief today, and I'm going to share a little bit more right now.